Welcome to my Dink Smallwood walkthrough, part 6, The Darklands, and the final bloodbath, game over. We're going to begin where we left off last time. We have just bought the light sword, and uh, we're at level 10, we're getting close to level 11, don't have much gold, 69, and our... Uh, Power levels are okay. Now in the Darklands, we're going to be getting potions to power up our, our those levels, and we're going to be fighting a lot of battles between us and dragons and pill bugs and starving children, <laughs> and we can we can get a lot of money together pretty easily. Uh, and we can still go back out and fight the stone giants at the edge of the world, go down, buy potions. If we don't have, feel we have enough, depends on how you're going to go at the final boss. Uh, I would like to be up at level uh, 13, 14 and above, but I can beat the final boss at level 11 and 10. It just takes a lot longer because my magic is level one is not as high as it should be. All through the game, whenever I level up, I've applied the award point to my defense because in the game, there are far fewer defense potions overall than magic or attack. And even though I'm going to get a bunch of uh, potions in the next uh, part in the walkthrough, the Darklands, mm. I'm still not going to get as many as I want. Now, we got the light sword. We can uh, use that to beat the final boss. We could even use a claw sword if, we, if our level was high enough. The important thing is our Hellfire magic. It will we'll use that a lot. And the uh, more magic it has, the better the hits are, and the faster it loads, even though it still loads very slow at level 25. Now we can also buy the uh, massive bow and the flame bow, and I'm going to show you that from a previously uh, saved game that I played. There we go. And if you see, I have all of the things we could buy. I've got the uh, claw sword, I got the light sword, the throwing axe, the standard bow, the massive bow, and the flame bow. And the standard bow, the attack currently is 29. If I jump over to the massive bow, it's 37. And the flame bow, it's 44. And it's amazing. Um, so we could uh, do a lot of things with that. If we're a bow player, I say that bow player, but I mean, if, you, if you're going to use a bow to beat the final boss or you're a, you like to play it with it through the game, you can do this. Now, to use the bow, it's pretty simple. You press down your control key when you want to aim. But... If you're a keyboard player, now this is very different on a keypad or a, a joystick or game thing. If you're using the arrow keys, hold down your control key and then your up or down arrow key. You can get right, left, whatever you want to do. And you want to angle that shot to a different position. Do that by also holding down your up or down arrow key. See? And I can swap my keys around. If I don't let go of my control key, I can change up. And then right, left, whatever I want to do. And that's how you use the bow. But the thing to do with that Hold down your control key, 
Hold down your arrow key, up or down, do an angle, and let go, go of the keys all at the same time. We're going to start walking ahead like I just showed you. There you go. And that's how you use that. But you can uh, use the a sword to beat the final boss, or you can use the bow. And if you want to use the bow, you're going to have to go back in and uh, to the game and generate a lot of money. The massive bow is 5,000. The flame bow is 25,000. If you use a bow in the game, you're probably going to want to do that. If you want to get everything you can get, notice I'm up to level 16. I have not gone to the final boss in this save game yet. But let's go back to where we're going to begin again. And there we go. Now, to whatever you want to use, use to get through the dark lands. I, I, I'm going to walk into the dark lands using the flame sword. We can go ahead and uh, go back and generate money, get more potions if we think we need more potions. But we do have the healing fountain we can come back to at any time. But let's go ahead at level 10 here and go into the dark lamps. Go over to the uh, teleportation device, shine, press your space bar, and press the red button. And we're in the Darklands. You'll see these, first off I'm going to tell you to see these vines here. You see vines like this with little spikes. They don't move or anything, but they will take a little bit of life from you if you touch them. So stay away from those. Now let's go get all the potions. Power-ups. Go up to the north. There'll be some ghosts that'll be talking to you. Ignore them. You see the potion. That's the first potion. Now go to the edge of the screen to the uh, east and go down. If you're using hyper boots, you may run over and off the screen, and there are monsters there. Do you need to fight? We want to get that potion. Go down to the bottom of the, and then off to the left. And there's the potion. That one was easy. Go back down and then go to the screen east to the right. That's a safe place. Now use whatever weapon you want. And the magic you want. The claw sword or the light sword or the bow. But the uh, Throwing axe does not work on the final boss, but it does work on the monsters in the Darklands. But there's the potion. Now we say, kill that, uh, kill the dragons first, because they can throw magic from a distance. Anyway, there's our first potion. That's a defense potion. That helps us out a little more. Doesn't increase our magic. Next will be a... Uh, we're going to go over to the east. I'm going to load up my... Pepper boots. And there's a gold heart. Uh, I'm a hyper boot player, I like that. I just want to get it done. It's good for dragon. I'm getting very close to my 10,000, and if I'm in the middle of a battle, a fierce battle with a bunch of monsters, and I level up, I will miss that screen because it'll pop up, and I'll be bashing my key, and I'll automatically go through the level up screen and apply my uh, award point to attack 
rather than collectively put it in defense or magic. So be mindful of this. And dragons will give us a lot of money. So off to the right. And we will see this scene here with the uh, dead tree and the dragon, dead dragon carcass. That's our reference to go down. And we have ducks. And I want to show you these ducks. Yeah, their attack is really <laughs> fun. It's a, more than it should be. So the red heart here, and you don't need to get that unless you need it. But every time you come down to this page, or the screen, those ducks will probably res respawn and come after you. And a lock screen. So we can go down south and we'll see the barrels there'll be little hearts in it that's helpful down south and there's the same machine and this entrance in the ground is to our final boss we don't want to go down there not yet as i said we're getting very close to leveling up and we want to keep an eye on that before we go into Big battle. The next thing we can do is off to the east. And, and we're going to have a, a, a screen with a lot of fast, fast, fast pill bucks. And if you can do this with the, uh, the Hellfire Magic. And this could help you. And there's, there's our other power up. My attack's good and strong. I can, uh, as long as I get him with the magic a few times, I can beat him. But see, it took a lot of life. So it depends on how you want to play this game. And we got our attack power up. Post a little bit of life, a little bit of blood for me. Remember, I have potions I can use, but I'm not going to. Not yet. Go to the uh, east. The barrel with the heart. Little heart. We can power up there, too. Very close. I'm going to show you uh, the screen above. Has very has the uh, very slow... Now, the beginning of the river, they were quite fast. Uh, climbs. And they will usually give, leave a lot of heart spawn. But I can take all these hearts and power myself back up. Or health back up. Life back up. A little bit. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the screen above so I can show you because uh, we are getting close to leveling up the battle of the dragon. Kill the dragon first. He will throw magic at you and I managed to get a full heart. So I'm good to go. I don't have to use potion. Notice how much I went up. XP wise, so I'm really close. So if I fight a couple more monsters, I'm gonna level up. The next screen to the west is very important to us, so but I don't wanna waste that effort. I'm gonna go down. Only if I'm about to level up and go battle these guys. There I went. And I'm a level 11. I'm going to increase my magic. Now I can go to the screen above. And feel confident that I'm not going to lose the uh, level up point. Or the level up screen. I have the option to put it where I want to put it. 
go up and kill the dragons first because they will throw magic at you. Now you can also get the potions, but I, I want to show you what the potions are. Yeah, this always slowly uh, climbs. So while I was doing that, if I had come directly into the screen, I would have uh, missed, probably missed that uh, level up screen. And we got a magic potion. Now I got 19 magic. And I have one screen above with a mega potion and more dragon. That's why I always say kill the dragons first as quickly as you can. Because they throw magic at you and take <laughs> a lot of life. Get ready for it. There are four dra uh, dragons and uh, a slayer. And I did that very quickly. But I lost a great amount of life. Here's a mega potion. All my stats were raised by one. So if I get down to this point in life capacity I want or, or level I can uh, just load up potions then load up my uh, weapon but there are other places to get parts so I'm not going to waste a lot of time I go up one, one page or one screen and I got a little heart over one, I'm still safe. Now here's two barrels where I can get two more. Right over to the west are just two potions. Laying on the ground, just gonna ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. hyper boots. Two more attack potions. And I go over the screen to the west. Barrels. Parts, and I can use them if I need them. But I get a lot of red hearts, big red hearts in this, uh, often, but you can't count on it. Just go straight out. Go all the way over to screen. Mm. <laughs> and you see this body? This isn't important, I just want to show it to you. This guy is dressed kind of like you. So press your space bar to inspect him. Got to be in the right place for it. That sort of looks like me. Uh, and that just disappears. It's a phantasm. Because we're in the dark lands and everything is a nightmare. I go to the edge. Go up. And we have a, a regenerating pill bug. Gives us a goal, but there's a chest. That has 500 gold in it. Now we go over one uh, to the east. Get ready for it. And the next screen is not a locked screen, but it has two slayers on it. Choose just to run right by them and ignore them. Or you can choose to kill them. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you're feeling in the mood to do. You don't have to uh, get into battle. You don't have to risk health and all that, but I just was in the mood to go flares, you can swap your weapons around, now these are very slow moving boxes, that uh, are just basically there to earn XP and make uh, uh, parts and food and money.
the next screen over. Buy the pill bugs. Just run around and hit them or use your axe or whatever you want. Or use a hellfire. again. And there's a Peggy. Remember, Dink is a pick farmer who doesn't want to be a pick farmer. And so this phantasm, you can hit it and hit it and hit it and it won't die. The bleed. That's going to be a nightmare for poor Dink. And there's a gold heart. Increase of life capacity. The next screen will have a bunch of slimes and an attack potion. And I managed to get a red heart. I lucked out. And those are all the potions and power-ups in the Darklands. There are no more, but we still need to generate more money accumulate more money and we're really we're really close to level 12 and if we kill a few more dragons we're going to get there very quickly but a few dragons but i'm going to show you some things now uh i'm going to show you the starving children and the uh, uh some of the other and there's one glitch in the game i want to show you but, if you feel like you want to go back and get healed, or go back out uh, through the teleportation thing, uh, and go back to the healing fountain to buy a new weapon, or to grind some points out, save a game, you can do this. You go back the way you came, all the way to the west, and then straight down, and it'll just have a few... Uh, bonkers to deal with. But me, I want to show you these other issues. Now, if I don't have my hyper boots on. Haha, <laughs> I still get it. <laughs> It depends. Some days I'm better, some days I'm not walking. I'm, I can't even walk today. Get through this. And that's that's where the uh, lock screen was. And we have this psycho girl. Wanted to show her to you slow mo, but I guess she, she was right on me. I got another heart. I'm going to take it because. It's going to go away once I walk off the screen. See that? I can walk up here. And there are some things you think, well, can I get there? You can't get there. <laughs> Yo, there's no more. But this screen, I'll show it to you. It's a lock screen. It's a screen lock uh, with the dragons that we beat before but then they have these psycho girls there but that's not a lock screen that's a glitch you can get out of that scene there's no way you can beat those dragons even with magic and stuff and get the uh, whatever they dropped so I know I can go back to that page because the dragon, dragons have respawned Go west and do it any way you want to do it. And our uh, defense is up nice. Defense level. Mm. 
but I want to get up to level 12. You don't have to, but I want to. So I'm going to go kill me some dragons. This is our reference. We can go down from here back to the save machine. All the dragons. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Some magic. Fire. Uh, no fire magic. If you have it loaded. See, my uh, XP went up significantly. It's still going up. And if I go up and get the other dragons, I'm going to be up to level 12 or very close to it. I got a full heart. Red heart. That paid off. If the XP goes up slowly, accumulates rather than instantaneously, so it's best to wait until it uh, gets to the end so that you don't uh, overshoot and miss during a battle your level up. And then just go back out and grind a little bit of XP. Mm -hmm. That's really all you do at this point is grind XP. Any way you want to do it. If you come in from this side of the screen, where those barrels are, and you have your Hellfire magic loaded, you can might be able to get a lot of them. But I'm not doing that. Walk around and get what you're gonna get. And take a calm break with some passive uh, slimes. Might get some hearts. But don't kill them if they're there unless you uh, need some hearts. Ooh. Close. I'm going to apply that to increase magic. I just almost missed that screen again. And now we're at level 12. Now I would like to go up to level 13. Uh, apply some more uh, points to my magic. But our defense is pretty good. I can go out and generate more money by killing things <laughs> and leveling up even more and we still have that big red heart over by our save machine to go west until we see our dead dragon carcass and then uh, we have the ducks to deal with I'm not going to kill or take the uh, uh, hearts because I thought I, that's what I thought, I might get a uh, another heart from something and I'm ready. The red hearts pop up when you least, when you actually don't need them. Go down and remember that the pill bugs are over here. And that's our save game. Machine. And now we can go down and battle the final boss. For that, you want to load or equip the weapon of your choice. Like I said, I would rather be at level 13 and 14 or higher. And you will be up there, maybe level 15, 16. If you've gone out and turned monsters in our blender <laughs> and uh, got up enough money to go buy 
the flame bow. Because going and doing all that grinding will give you a lot of XP, will get your levels up, and uh, to earn that amount of money, 25000 takes quite a bit of uh, butt kicking. But I'm going to do it at level 12 just to get it out of the way. And once we do go down here, we, we can leave. But, ah, the sea of fire. And there's the Grim Reaper, the boatman to the underworld, whatever you want to call him. But he comes in in other uh, quests and other demods, sometimes to an, an annoying degree. Now, I'm going to be fighting this battle with the my flame magic and my sword not the bow. I'm not a bow player. <laughs> I'm not a fiddle player. Um, go up, but not, don't stand right on top of him. Hit your space bar. You see a dead body there? Milder, Milder. Uh, can you hear me? Pig farmer. Is that you? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, tell me what happened. I was left here to die by a monstrosity. Ah, by the cast? No. The cast were just a front. He is pure evil. Run, run, before it's too late. And they can refuse to leave without him. And that'll start this part. Battle the final boss. I will not leave without you, Milder. But why? I was so mean to you as a kid. It is the honorable thing to do. You are more of a knight than I ever was, Dink. Nonsense, can you walk? I think so. Take take my here's the final boss. No, it's him. What the? Who the hell are you? I am the beginning of the end. Kill him, Dink. Kill him. I am everything you love. I am everything you despise. You're as sick and twisted as what you are. His name is Seth. He is an ancient one. He killed the others. Arrgh! And set those fire magic that and kills Milder. And he grins evilly at you. For God, the crown, and all that is good, I shall destroy you, Seth. And run around. And you gotta watch him. Hit him with your fire magic. You can nick him. Uh, if you get him in a good position, he will speed up. The closer he gets to death. And if your fire magic was, uh, Hellfire Magic was, was more powerful, you could get him easier. And when he starts glowing red in the face, he's getting ready to throw magic at where you were standing. Like there. So basically, you can run around and you'll still get, uh, things thrown at you magic cast at you. You can hit him with a bow. That's why some people like the bow. Oops. See his face there? When he says, oh, I felt that. I felt that he's really close. And he'll really speed up. He'll start randomly casting magic at you. Now you've resisted magic. And that means you didn't, uh... And he felt that. Play this any way you want, but if it was a higher level, I would've, my hits would've, uh... 
my magic would have done a lot more damage. Feel my wrath, small one, and he's getting real close to it. So if he had a bow, you might be able to do it. And I hit him with the sword, and... Uh, he got him. Too bad I had to kill him. He seemed likable enough. My body is tingling. I must now go back to Goodheart Castle and inform the king. See, that wasn't too hard at all. I could use my uh, hyper boots and run around and hit him with uh, hellfire magic and uh, avoided whatever, but um, I like to have that sword too because I can get him sometimes. Even though I'm slower. And you can swap out, you can start off with the sword or the bow and then swap over your boots when he starts speeding up and use your hellfire magic. And once you beat him, you get 10,000 points XP. I don't know why. Your life fills all the way back up. And you gotta, you don't have to wait and watch this count up to add the 10,000. But it's fun. It's not fun. You just uh, if you don't have 10,000 to kind of look at it and wonder <laughs> what uh, it's going to get to, but it's 10,000. It's going to add 10,000. And our next uh, thing is just to head out of the, head back out, back through the uh, dark lens, to the teleportation device, and Edge of the world, back to Goodheart Castle, and where the game will end. In an anticlimactic way. Now you can head back if I go up. Uh, I gotta fight the ducks. If I, uh, go Try to avoid the ducks, I'm gonna hit the hell box, so I'll go fight the ducks. Hit him with, with uh, I got him with hellfire magic. You don't really need the gold unless you just wanna go buy the flame bow just for hat, for the kicks. You don't need it anymore. And the heart. Go up and over, battle the uh, bonkers, I mean that uh, players, or go to the west down below instead and you'll fight some dragons, fight a dragon and some other stuff. This, this, that's quite easy. Go up. Fight to kill the dragon. I got a heart. Go over. And we're back to the entrance west. And now we can go back out. Hit, hit the space bar and then use the machine. And we're back to the dark land save our game and heal ourselves whatever we want to do head back out to the top of the, pa uh, the screen go west 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 there's a sign that means this is the way we go to get back to our entrance point And it, we, we, we can fight the monsters or not. Depends on our mood. Load my hellfire magic. I can load my sword. Step off the screen. I'm about here. Wait till my hellfire loads. Step onto the screen. 
do that. And I can wait to, to do it again, but depends on if, what, you, what you want to do. I just want to get around the guy. Back over, down. I talk to the, I don't have to talk to the guards, but look, Tom, Dink is back. Dink is alive, alive. And that's just for fun. Down by the ducks, by the rocks, down to the path, over to the west to Goodhart Castle. Request an audience with King Daniel. I must see the king at once. Hello, small one. Of course you may see the king. Guard, open the gate. Go on up and talk to the big guy in the red flannel pajamas or underwear bathrobe. Smallwood has returned. I have sad news, my king. Sir Flatstom is dead. He died in my arms bravely. I will inform Lena. I was afraid this was the case. Also, the evil ancient Seth has been vanquished. Hooray, the world is safe. Congratulations. You have finished the game. You took a boy and turned him into a hero. Is this the end? Not by a long shot. There are hundreds more adventures awaiting you. Get them and other great games at rtsoft.com or make your own. Download the free development kit. <laughs> Special thanks to the following. Justin, sorry I made you draw blood. Tap, great level design and story when you were here. Sean, corn dogs are not the food of the gods. Brother saying, check out the quotes.txt file in the Dink Smallwood folder. And thanks for playing by Seth. And now for uh, Who's My Hungry Hero? Let's give you a bunch of potions, <laughs> which are pointless now. Meaning, you finish the game. Kind of don't need these potions unless you want to wander around the game. There's nothing more you can do. Going out, and you're done. You can, if you can go buy the big bow, the flame bow. You can explore, you can kill things, you can kill your abusive uncle, if you haven't already. But this is the end of the game. You can load other D-Mods up and play those and continue quests that are very different than this. Or just explore, look around lock things into your brain, and then play it all again faster than you did the first time. Thanks for watching my walkthroughs, and I hope it was enjoyable. Take care.